What is up guys, Stark here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 60 Stamina Akainu Raid Boss. Now, Akainu is definitely one of the hardest raid bosses out there. But we're going to go ahead and use a double Cavendish team to take him down pretty easily. Once my game decides to load. Alright, here we go. Let's find a good Cavendish friend. There we go. Alright, so this is our team set up here. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not free-to-play, but Akainu is very difficult, and it makes making a free-to-play team extremely hard. You can use a uh, Anel Cavendish or Anel Aokiji or uh, the new 5-star plus Luffy and time skip Luffy if you want, um, but it's still really difficult. But we're going to go ahead and use this Cavendish team here. The main reason why this raid boss is so difficult, in my opinion, is because on stage 2, you won't be able to heal, like, for the rest of the fight. And that takes away a lot of your possible teams, like Marco, or, like, a double NL team, or pretty much anything that requires you to heal. So on stage 1 here, you have to make use of your time to stall the best you can. You're probably going to have to take quite a few hits just to get your cooldowns low enough to make it through the rest of the fight without being able to heal. So on stage 1, if you get any meat orbs, it is strongly advised to uh, go ahead and take them. Even if you're using like a HP dependent captain, like maybe using Croc or something, you'd still want to do it just because you need to stall for turns. Now, you could do this without getting a single a single meat orb, but obviously, you know, the more meat orbs you get, the more turns you can stall here. And these turtles don't have a ton of HP, so you just be careful with that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead here and clear out the stage before taking another hit, unless we get a meat orb or two. Otherwise, we'll die, and we don't want to do that. We did get a meat orb there, so we're going to go ahead and grab it, but we're still going to clear the stage. Alright, so we're on stage two here, and then this guy is going to go ahead and prevent you from healing for the remainder of the fight. Other than that, this stage is very simple. Just go ahead and knock out all the enemies. You would uh, want to have your Zoro or whatever staller you're going to be using if you use one by stage 3. Because stage 3, they're going to swap your captains for one member of your middle row. And usually, depending on your team setup, but usually you're not going to have a decent lead as a subunit in your middle row. So you just bring it to layer, so you don't have to worry about taking those hits. Otherwise, you're probably going to end up dead. And then just focus here on taking out whatever you can on the first turn. I usually try taking out the... Uh, the marines in the back because they heal but due to the cooldowns on the stage we're just going to go ahead and take out one of them and then kill the red guy now we're going to try and kill both of these marines and then do whatever damage we can to the green guy this stage could end up killing you if you do not get well you don't need to get good luck on the orbs you just can't get bad luck on your orbs But as many times as I've done this fight, I've only lost on stage 3 one time. And that's because I got really, really bad orbs, so... You should be fine. And just go ahead and knock out this stage here and move on to stage 4. Stage 4 is just, you know, a normal stage. There's pretty much no gimmicks after stage 3. 
outside of Aokiji himself, but even then, like, Aokiji, um, oh, not Aokiji, Akainu isn't really that difficult to beat once you make it to him. Alright, and our specials are ready to go. Don't worry about saving orbs. He will swap your orbs out. Alright, here we go. A Kainu. So he's going to swap by. Start by swapping your orbs into red orbs. And then he's going to put up his usual attack you every turn buff. Which will do a small percentage of your HP each turn. So on turn 1 here, you just want to go ahead and attack him normally. Turn 2 here is going to be your burst turn. Now, if you had a character that can stall and they were ready for a kind of, you could actually use their special to delay him and then attack again. Just normally, it's just a normal attack. But uh, since our Zoro is not ready, we can't do that. But if you do delay him, you don't want to do anything else. You just want to attack him normally because after this turn, he will clear up all your buffs. But that does give you a little bit of extra time to do a little bit more damage to him. But since we don't have that ready, we're just going to go half the head and burst here. So we're going to use pretty much all of our specials except Cavendish. Now the thing you want to know before you attack here is whichever character you use to kill a Kainu is going to be removed from the game entirely after he revives. So make sure you don't kill him with one of your captains. So we're going to try and do this where Zoro is our last hitter. But if Anel's our last hitter, it's fine because this team does a ton of damage. So what I like to do is I like to attack with Luchi first and then immediately go for my cabin dishes just in case we do a little bit too much damage. And there we go, that was perfect. I hit the grape there with Dofi on purpose, just so I didn't accidentally kill him. It doesn't matter, but I just like to do it this way, because Zoro has the lowest attack on my team. So Kainu here is going to revive and knock out Zoro. And then he's going to preserve and put up the delay protector and all that fun stuff. But at this point, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to go ahead and use both of our Cavendish's specials. second one here and then you're just going to go ahead and attack normally obviously you want to make sure you attack with the cavendish that is in hakuba last just so you get the extra damage and there you go guys that is a kind of 60 stamina very simple but you need to have cavendish to do this team that's the one bad thing with the new content in One Piece, is making it increasingly harder to do free-to-play teams. But if you do have Cavendish, you know, it's going to be a really easy fight for you. If you have double Alkaji, it's going to be really easy. Double times Skip Luffy is going to be really easy. If not, you're going to have to try and, you know, do a combination of, like, NL and another one of those legends in order to beat him. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and you found it a little bit helpful. And if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.